let's go ahead and get started. Um, first, uh, if you haven't participated before, my name is Frank Markley. I'm a member of the um, consulting group of Pauline Associates that's working on the strategic plan for CCRI. Just by a show of hands, how many of you participated in one of the other open forums in the past? Okay, so many of you know why we're here, what we're doing, and so forth. Um, so today, um, we're going to, um, I, I think, take this to the next step. And I just want to let you know where we are in the planning process. So we were here in March and did the SWAT in this room. And many of you participated in that. We then took that information and developed last time we were here strategic issues. And then today, we're going to be looking at the results of those strategic issues and, in essence, um, the strategic directions that have come out of those. But more importantly, we're going to start to, in essence, create that strategic goal framework. So from that perspective, um, that'll be the exercise for today. It's a little different. Um, what you see over here is the group from the listing campus and how they started that. We're going to give you sticky notes and uh, basically Sharpie markers. And we have an exercise for you that really starts to put the goal framework together for CCRI. So, before we do, I want to just uh, go through and talk a little bit about some definitions, um, a little bit about the process and how we see this kind of shaping up. This is the last open forum um, for this particular semester. Um, as you know, basically this semester is coming to a close. The goal is to create the strategic goals and get them on the website before faculty leave for contract, which is May 19th. And while the summer continues on, there'll be a feedback mechanism on the strategic planning website, web page of CCRI. And then when we come back in the fall and the, uh, after classes have resumed and things sort of return to normal, we'll pick up with the planning process and finalize that with strategies and success measures. Keep in mind that we were, we're at the, what we call the strategic level. And the strategic level, in essence, is the strategic directions, goals, and strategies. Um, we're not going to be talking about, in our strategic plan, um, things that you need to do at your particular unit level or division level, and certainly not talking about policy and procedure. That's going to be coming down the road as you implement the plan. So keep in mind that, again, we're, we're still at that fairly high level talking about the college as a whole. Um, and what's good for the entire college, regardless of the campus. Now, the word goal, when we start to talk about goals, is a specific achievement. It's a targeted completion date, um, something that has to be completed or reached. Now, when we talk about strategic direction, that's a little more broader. And that's really um, the statements that you see or that I'm going to be talking about today are really called strategic directions. So, so here we are. Um, I just want to keep you informed that this has been, and you can see from step one, a process that has come up from the bottom organically and is going up. What that means is, in essence, that the gap analysis in SWAT C that you did started with people who participated in the planning process. It went to strategic issues. Step three today is strategic directions and goals. Step four, the work that we'll be doing today will help us create those goals and key strategies. And then finally, key performance indicators. So keep in mind, this has been a bottom-up process, not a top-down process. So, um, so when we talk about strategies themselves, and you'll see an example of this, um, those are the action intended to accomplish specific goals. And those will start to be crafted with a variety of different people those are the people who work in student services and academic affairs, um, Dave's area in terms of administration and fiscal components. So keep that in mind that all of these particular steps are leading to your, your strategic plan. So this is an example, and that may be hard to see, um, of, of sort of the outcome. Because at this point in the phase, people say, well, you know, we've done a lot of work. I can't really see anything yet. And uh, I should say, well, we're, get, we're getting there. <laughs> um, but what you can see, this happens to be Mass Bay Community College. They're a community college about 10 miles north of Boston. And they are a multi-campus system very similar to you, serving both a, 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 um, a metro area as well as a suburban population. 
This was their strategic plan for 2012 to 2017. They're just wrapping this up. They're starting a, a, another planning process. But what you can see at the top is that this is strategic directions, goals, strategies, and outcomes. So the very top bar going across is focused student success, expanded partnerships, collaborative college community, and improved systems. Those, in essence, are what we call strategic directions. And that's, in essence, where we're, we're talking about today. Now, the second line down here is strategic goals. And that gets, starts to narrow it down. So from strategic directions, we get to goals. And then how do you accomplish those goals? You create strategies. So these bulleted items are specific strategies to accomplish this goal. And then strategic outcomes is how do we know if we're successful in accomplishing that goal? In this case, those outcomes are specific to measurement, and we can measure the progress along the way. So that's, an, an ex, I think, a good example of a close-by community college that, in essence, has gone through this process, has a very effective plan. But again, when we, at the end of the day, you'll see a very similar um, format here for CCRI. So, just one more statement about strategy and goal setting, because a lot of times when we talk about strategy, um, there's an attention, well, strategy is the goal. Well, it's not really. Strategy, as you can see here, is an exercise in problem solving. Um, the problems could be many varied, um, depending on what you're trying to solve. But um, so those, in essence, are things that are well thought out. Strategy is focusing on solving. Goals support the strategy, are critical, but goals don't solve problems. We have to keep that in mind. That's why we have a goal, but then the question becomes, what strategies do we need to solve that goal? In essence, is what we're trying to do. So keep those two in mind as we move forward. So um, I want to talk a little bit about the debriefing with the strategic issues. You have a handout in front of you. That handout was developed last time. In this instance, this is what we did. Last time we met as an open forum on the four campuses, plus the online exercise. We had 56 participants in the open forums. We had 30 that completed the uh, online component of the strategic issues exercise. And that information is before you right now. Now that is, in essence, pretty much verbatim. Um, again, we're not filtering anything here. Those are the direct responses that we received. Now from that, my associate colleague, Marty Mahler, and myself sat down for almost a day and took those 152 responses and tried to put them into some general categories. Now those categories are what you call at the top, strategic direction. You'll see the first one says enhancing student services or student success and completion. And then underneath that are what we call strategic issues that support that strategic direction. Now this went to the strategic planning committee on April 28th. They got this, they tweaked it, they moved some things around, they uh, eliminated one strategic direction and created another strategic direction. Um, they also took some strategic issues and moved them to different categories. So what you're seeing right now was the final document that was validated by the strategic planning committee last Friday. Um, so that's a critical component. Now, Keep in mind, what is a strategic direction? It's a key statement that propels you towards an intended goal. So that strategic direction is going to be, in essence, that first overarching theme or concept that's going to basically be, uh, be put into the planning process. Now, these are the six strategic directions. You can see in terms of enhancing student success and completion, expanding partnerships, programs, certificates, and degrees, ensuring financial strengths and robust systems. Number four is improving college image and perceptions. Number five is talking about effective organizational culture, collaboration, and engagement. And number six has to do with um, expanding opportunities for professional development, putting career pathways and processes towards advancement. That, in essence, is what the Strategic Planning Committee uh, validated last week. And those are, in this right now, 
Those are the standing strategic issues for CCRI. Before we move forward, I'd like you to spend just a couple of minutes um, looking at that document, that handout. Um, basically, doing a review, looking at the strategic issues, refreshing yourself with those. Many of you wrote those and got incorporated into here. Um, but again, how well do those responses adequately convey the issues at CCRI? Do you think that they are pretty much uh, in line? Again, they're very broad. But then more importantly, are those directions reflective of the strategic issues in each category? So just take a few minutes to look at that. And um, if you uh, have any questions, we can basically um, talk about that. And then we'll move forward very quickly. So let, let's go ahead and go on then. So what we're going to be doing is, um, if you're familiar with, um, if many of you have probably uh, in, in your past have had to write papers for English. And the first thing you do is typically put an outline together. And that's very similar to what we're going to do today. We're, we're calling it a goal framework because um, it comes from the discipline of project management is to sort of put that framework in place before you start to really wrestle with the wording. As you know, when you start to develop strategic planning goals, um, a good portion of the time, in fact, some experts say 70, 80% of the time, is picking and what we call wordsmithing, picking the right words. So I think today, with this larger group, what we're trying to make sure that we accomplish is we want to make sure we get the right words and that those are in the goal. Um, as you can read, there are seven pages of content in the strategic issues. But there are, in essence, nuggets that are very important that really need to go into the goal, whether it's a statement, a word, or a phrase, something that's going to, in essence, fill out that strategic direction and make it more, I guess, holistic for, for development of a goal. So here's a sample goal from an institution, uh, Laramie County Community College, that we worked on last year. Um, you can see that this goal says, over the next three years, we will increase the number of students earning high-value credentials. Now, notice they didn't say a degree or certificate or anything like that. By 24% by redesigning our courses for 21st century learners, creating new programs that help drive the economic and social futures of our state. Now, economic and social. So these are those um, general ed degrees as well as uh, more career and technical degrees. Now, with that statement, we could sit here for hours and kind of, you know, kind of debate whether, you know, some of those words, um, economic and social futures, um, you know, looking at uh, what time period and what percent increase and so forth. But there's certain key words in here, high value credentials, redesigning our courses, 21st century learners, creating new programs that are key to making that goal work. And that's really, I think, what we want to do today. So um, in essence, that's the exercise before us. So when you look at goals, you have in front of you um, different colored sticky notes. And I didn't realize that sticky notes came in 100 different colors until I started to go shopping for them. So, but when you read the, the, the research <coughs> literature on goals, most goals can be broken down into four common components. We have people, facilities, and infrastructure, systems and services, and funding and policies. So if you analyze pretty much any type of goal, you can basically uh, break it down into those four particular areas. Now, the, these categories are colored because um, and correspond with the types of colors of sticky notes that you have. You have, in essence, sort of an orangey red one, a green one, a yellow one, and then sort of a dark blue. Um, as one person said in the last one, a azure blue. <laughs> so now what we'd like to ask you to do, um, here's another example of this. So this happens to be in a goal of increasing overall fall to fall retention to 60% by 2018. And this goal um, we worked with um, a, a couple of years ago, and they actually did reach this goal, and they actually reached it in 2017. But you can see under here um, the strategies, and uh, it depends on the goal, but you can also do this type of, of, of work with strategies. So one of the strategies is to create faculty work groups um, focused on increasing faculty engagement. 
students through creation of active learning spaces, so that includes people, systems, and facilities. If you're purchasing software to identify at-risk students like Starfish or others, um, fully implement a comprehensive intervention and student tracking system that requires funding, people, and systems. So those are the types of things that we're looking at as you, as you do this. So we'd like you to work in small groups. In this case, we're working in groups of three to four. Um, we want you to look at the strategic issues under each strategic direction. Just like the SWOT C analysis, they're going to bear fruit for you. There are certain words in the strategic issues in your handout that are very important. So now as you start to look through those, you want to probably identify, you can use those handouts or yours. So circle 8 to 12 statements, words, or actions that you think should create a framework for a CCRI strategic planning goal. And again, it's a framework. We're not looking for long statements. You'll see up here that most of this is very, uh, a couple words, a sentence. We're not looking for you to create that goal because that takes a tremendous amount of sort of effort and wordsmithing. We're asking for you to give us the components that should go into that goal. So when you, when you start to look through these, um, start to pick your top five or six statements. And then determine whether or not, using sticky notes, that those are um, relevant to the different colors. Is it a facilities issue, a process, a people issue, or uh, a funding issue? So, and then we'd like you to get up with your group after you've written them on the sticky notes. You can write multiple statements on each sticky note. And then go place them up over the six areas that you see over here t um, on the wall. And as you're doing that, start to look at what others have said because in essence, this framework will then become, start to shape the strategic planning goals for CCRI. So that's in essence what we have before you. So any questions? We're gonna take a, a good chunk of the next uh, 45 minutes or so to do this. And um, we can then, I think after you're complete, make sure that at least you're take a, a review and start to look at some of the other responses. We have three different groups here that will be adding to this. What you see now is the listing campus up there with two groups this morning. Um, and so this will continue to build and build. We've got two open for tomorrow. And then we also have the faculty advisory committee. So it probably will, by the time this is all done, you'll see 100 or more sticky notes under each of these particular areas. Again, all that information will start to come up and create and be fuel for developing that CCRI goal. So any questions before we get started? I'll go ahead and put uh, the ground rules up. These are the same as last time in terms of conciseness. They should focus not so much on individuals or group of individuals. Again, we're not asking you to overanalyze or overthink those. Respect and obviously look at points of view should be recognized. So. From that perspective, I, I think the, the best thing to do is, is probably leave this up. This is also on your instruction sheet at the bottom, so you know what color based on the type of goal that it is. Um, whether it's people, whether it's facilities, systems, or funding. Now the last group said, well, you know, it, my, my statement really has all, all of those. Well, I think the goal is to pick the best one that you think represents that. And so, yes, some, some statements you have could probably fit all four, but pick one that you think is most relevant to them. And then we'll, we'll take those and start to look at them by category. So I'm going to let you start your work. And um, again, get up at, at, at your leisure and start to paste your sticky notes on the, each of the appropriate strategic directions. And then we can basically move forward from there.